and we will begin with mixed martial arts in the flyweight division. Get set, everyone, for Jan Rotana against Sielwe. Representing China, the hunter, Xie Wei. 24 years old, the hunter, born in Hunan, spent much of his childhood in Guangzhou, discovered martial arts in school, and by the age of 18, he was at the famed Shaolin Temple, and that is some childhood experience, Mitch Chilston, to bring with you into the One Championship circle. Yes, Xie Wei brings knockout power into one championship, and he wants to get it done the very same way. This knockout artist from China is a wrecking ball. He puts a tremendous pace on his opponents from jump, and he is looking to put you down in the very first round. But he knows just how tough Chan Rotana is, and he has predicted a TKO in the second round via ground and pound. Let's see if he can get it done tonight managed to get to the big stage by winning a contract by impressing everybody at one hero series. See away! I might chip ups, man. I got this now. Yeah! Yeah! Come on! Representing Cambodia! John Ratana! Born in a refugee camp in Thailand during the Cambodian Civil War. His father was a master of a Khmer martial art called Yuta Kun Kong, which involved striking and wrestling and a mastery of weapons. He stopped his studies to help his father out at the gym and then competed at Kun Khmer at the age of 17 years old for the first time, Mitch. Chan Rotana is all out aggression. He loves to push forward and put hands on his opponents. It doesn't matter who the opponent is, he is gonna go forward with a ferocious pace until they fall. Chan Rotana really wants to mix things up, but he also wants to test the stand-up game of the knockout artist, Xie Wei. He has spent a lot of time focusing on his strength and his explosiveness and he really wants to utilize that tonight. He thinks he's gonna be stronger and more powerful than C.A. Wei, and he wants to mix in the takedowns with his high-level striking, Steve. Well, 17 years after that first competition, he runs his own gym, and now he's a veteran of one championship, 34 years old, a consummate striker, plenty of power and great experience. He's had quite a few roles in his life, including working as a Somebody who prepares cold cuts in an Italian restaurant. He'll be looking for the deepest of cuts tonight, though. Enjoy spending free time with his wife and two daughters. But this will be a very different kind of environment as he enters three five-minute rounds. Mixed martial arts, the global rule set, sees this bout judged in its entirety. So the judges will not be looking at this one round by round. They'll look at the entire 15 minutes and decide who it is who deserves to have their arm raised aloft. That's if we don't get a stoppage within that designated amount of time. Siawe against Chan Rotana then. Flyweight division. And when these two stand side by side, you can see that Rotana is 10 years older, one centimeter shorter. It's Cambodia against China. Gentlemen and martial arts fans from all around the world, welcome to the most exciting global martial arts event, One Championship. We are live from Singapore and broadcast to more than 150 countries. This is One Championship Collision Course. So get ready for a night of non-stop martial arts action. 
And now, this match is three rounds of five minutes in a one championship flyweight mixed martial arts contest. This match is presented to you by Xiaomi. Innovation for everyone. Introducing first, out of the blue corner, he is the One Hero Series China contract winner, standing at 170 centimeters tall, holding a mixed martial arts record of 11 wins and three losses. Training out of Sunkin International Fight Club, representing China. Stepping into action is the Hunter Xie Wei. And introducing his opponent out of the red corner. He stands at 169 centimeters tall, holding a Kun Khmer record of 215 wins and 18 losses. Training out of Selapak and FFG, representing Cambodia. Get ready for Chen Rutana. And when the action begins, your referee in charge, Mr. Yuji Shimada. Stand up. Take my head back, not going, not back, okay? Okay. Cream fight, cream fight. Okay. okay. Touch gloves. Come on. Yuji Shimada is in charge. This one is striker versus striker. One championship veteran against one hero series standout. Two very exciting Judge. flyweights. Judge. Judge, time. Ready? 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 Go! And I'm delighted to say that thanks to the wonderful coordination between one championship and the authorities here in Singapore, we have a limited audience in the Singapore Indoor Stadium. COVID restrictions in full effect, but plenty of people here ready to enjoy the action. See away throwing the first damage. Jean Rotana with his back up against the circle wall. Sia Wei has been very aggressive with his hands, immediately backing Chan Rotana up. It's going to be the kicks of Rotana against those hands of Sia Wei. And we got the first glimpse of that kick there, Mitch, didn't we? There's another one just across the midriff, but that first one banged into the upper left thigh of Sia Wei. Chan Rotana does have black belts in both Taekwondo and Hapkido, so you can expect him to really try to lean on that kicking prowess. And Rotana just planted a decent right hand in on Seowei's chin as he moved in. And that's a good stiff jab from him as well. You can see Chan Rotana is carrying his hands very low, but when he does feel that engagement coming from Seowei, he does get those hands up to deflect some of those shots. Managed to lean out of the way just Beautifully, the economy of effort to make sure that he didn't move too far, extend too much energy, just made Siawei miss enough to tire him out. Can be very tiring when all you hit is air. Siawei's got his hands clasped together, but he's choosing to utilize shoulder strikes and foot stomps. Just to do a little bit of damage to Chan Rotana inside that clinch. Yeah, those foot stomps on the top of the foot there, that bone on top of the foot where the metatarsals are, just trying to disrupt the flow, cause some minor irritating injuries. They can be more than irritating, mind you. Brings up the knee to the waist. Yeah, man, those hurt, man. Those are not fun, dude. <laughs> Landed on you. Mild irritation, not the phrase to use. Granted, Chan Rotana has kicked so many things in his life. Those feet are probably just like iron bars down there. At the moment, he's got his back to the circle wall. And the attempt to take him down, he does very well to stay upright. If anything, it was Sia Wei who was struggling to stay on his feet for a while there. But they go down to the mat, and it's Rotana who has his back. Yeah, Chan Rotana looked very relaxed inside that clinch, even though Sia Wei had double underhooks, and that usually gives you a very good advantage in trying your opponent to the ground. Just past the halfway mark in this opening round. Three fives in mixed martial arts, flyweight division. This is where Sia Wade has done a lot of damage, especially in one hero series. We saw him get on top, get in this half guard position, and just do so much damage in ground and pound. Sia Wei has his hand on Chan Rotana's face. Rotana is complaining that the fingers are in the mouth there, which he didn't like. He's just annoying all the time, isn't he? 
he's causing damage, you know, the foot stomps, the shoulder bumps. And he's trying, I don't think he's necessarily trying to stick his fingers in the mouth of Chan Rotana, but he's definitely trying to disrupt the breathing pattern of Chan Rotana by covering his mouth covering up. Covering his mouth, good ploy. But he did, you know, he, able, he was able to use it to pass into side control. And now he's got that arm locked up on one side and he can just do a lot of ground and pound, if he, especially if he can get this crucifix position. For a while there, I thought he was working hard on Chan Rotana's right arm to try and get it into a position that would cause some problems, but he seems to have given up on that for now. Yeah, he's got the overhook on Chan Rotana's left arm, and he's trying to take Chan Rotana's left arm and shove it underneath his legs so he can get that crucifix and really start letting go of some ground and pound. Then you're really exposed if the man on top of you is just lying on both of your arms. You've got nothing to defend you except your legs. Chan Rotana seeing whenever he can to bring up, bring up his legs to try and create a, a change in the balance, but it's Xie Wei's legs that are sometimes making contact with Chan Rotana's head. But Chan Rotana's doing a good job of kneeing from the bottom. That's what he had to do. He had to get that arm free to create that scramble, and he does a good job of doing that. He squeezed all the way out, but he does get to his feet and to the applause of the fans at Circle Side here. Such a delight to have a live audience here enjoying the action, along with everyone at home. A little upper body clinch battle, but CAA wins it with a beautiful knee tap takedown. He was able to drive forward and complete the takedown. Yeah, good little tap and use of the weight. Final 10 seconds of this opening round then. That's a dominant round for CAA. Chan Rotana looked good on his feet for the first half of that round. Oh, and he threw a big punch from way back there, completely missed Chan Rotana's head, and it drove into the canvas. He then followed up with another one, and exactly the same thing happened. It's pretty good if you can evade punches when you're back on the mat. Look at this. Misses with the big left hook, but follows it up with the right hand. Chan Rotana backs his way up against that circle wall. And then here's that. The things you call annoying, I call them effective because they are landing. Nice little foot stomp with the shoulder bump. And then he was trying to work into this crucifix. He did a good job of controlling the top position, but also landing a lot of elbows and ground and pound along the way. For all of the youthful exuberance that CIA will have at 24 years old, he is dealing with a man who has a lot of experience there. Spent half of his life competing in combat sports. Martial arts is very much his home. Round two. Go. One of one championships. Longest servants. Great to see him back in the circle and he starts the second round in impressive, energetic fashion. Has to be careful though because that right hand can be snuck in. Yes, yeah, C.A. Wei does not want to give Chan Rotana this space. When he's at kicking range, he is the most oh, dangerous. Big right hand from Chan Rotana, though, Mitch, there. He tried to close that distance and got caught with the right. Chan Rotana is feeling himself on the feet. That could well have been the cleanest punch of the battle so far, and he landed again very nicely with that right hand out of that orthodox stance. Does a 360 from air kick, and the second time he's done that, and was spinning little back kick from CIA as well. So these two spinning and grinning, who's going to be winning? Another right hand that comes in, and it looks big, that right hand from Chan Rathana. Gets his full shoulder behind that. Certainly no flicking punch, that one. It lands heavy. Chin nicely tucked in there, showing a lot of movement from the waist up, Chan Rotana. In comparison, Xie Wei is quite static from the waist up, isn't he? Just kind of plods forward, gets caught again from the right hand and then the left jab. Xie Wei needs to close that guard up a little bit because Chan Rotana packs some power. Yeah, he's got to be careful entering into that pocket. He's trying to get tight, but as he's doing so, he's getting touched up by Chan Rotana. See a way giving ground Mitch has to realize at this point that he is a lot more effective when he's inside that clinch and inside the grappling exchange because on the feet right now Chan Rotana is working magic. He is loving throwing that right hand. There it is again. This time didn't get the full body weight behind it. He didn't turn into it. He kind of lunged forward with it, almost led with it. 
Oh, a big flash of legs as they come together. And Siawe is the one that ended up on his back. But he sprung up again. Starting to breathe a little bit heavily now, Jarotana. Throwing of these big blows, clearly taking it out of him. Boxing open mouth. See away gets that leg up nice and high. Hasn't quite got the thickness across the body of his opponent though. May not be able to punch with quite as much power as the very experienced Chanrotana. Well, this is that strength and conditioning program that Chanrotana was talking about. He says he's developed a lot more power and a lot more explosiveness, especially when it comes to throwing the hands. Quite a way off with that kick, but he really throws it. Oh, slamming kick to Chanrotana's right thigh. A good, solid, stiff jab. But what he's doing with that big roundhouse kick is he's kind of keeping the distance that, you know, you know away from C.A. Way. C.A. Way doesn't want to step into that pocket because he doesn't want to get caught by one of those massive head kicks. C.A. Way moves from orthodox to southpaw and back again. Quite square on from the waist up. Come on. Go, 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 go. It's hard sometimes to tell whether oh. he's jabbing or, or crossing. Oh, he goes with a little nice. left nice. uppercut. Nice. Digs in one to the body and then oh. a left to the head, followed up by another left to the head. And as this second round moves on, Siawe is really starting to come into his own. Is this where we turn the corner in terms of cardio and freshness and the promise of youth? But he can definitely see those kicks coming and he's able to evade. Now he's starting to close that distance. He really is. That was a nice left hand. Jan Rotana's receiving a little bit more than he did in the first round. And the early part of this second. Mac matches can just turn suddenly, can't they? And we may be seeing that now. Again, the foot stomp. Oh, the elbow to the side of the head. This is developing into a really nice round for CIOA. Like that counter right hand he's throwing. But Chihirotana answers right back. Still looks fresh, doesn't he? Oh, stumbled a little bit there and gives a little bit of a smile. That swinging kick a few times has been well off the mark from Chan Rotana. But you can see that C.A. Wei might be able to evade the head kick, but his legs are still in the same position. I'd like to see Chan Rotana just keep going back to that leg kick. I think he'd be a lot more effective if he starts attacking the legs. Quite a different round, that second one from the first. Plenty of action, Mitch. Oh. But he landed that head wow. kick right there. That was at the very beginning of the round. And C.A. Wei was like, I do not want to eat another one of those. And he was able to get his head out of the way of most of the extra oncoming shots. But that stiff round, that stiff jab was just landing over and over again. Now, you got to keep this in mind that that first part of that round, Chan Rotana was very successful. But then as the match wore on, as we started to get later and later into that round, C.A. Wei started to find success with his hands. So I think it's anybody's game. I really think it's going to come down to this third and final round. For sure. Don't judge that second round by the highlights we saw there. Good that work with the up. leg. Good work with the right hand from Chan Rotana. But Siawe worked his way back into that second round and probably nicked it. Not that we're scoring this bout round by round. The judges will look at the full 15 minutes and determine the overall winner therefrom. And what great respect as we so often see in the one championship circle at the beginning of this final round. They embrace each other and then back onto the breach. Left hand from CIOA drives Chanrathana backwards and he replies with a big slapping kick to the rib cage. Just the first 20 seconds of this third round and already the action is pretty intense. Will the cardio continue to stay in place for Chan Rotana? Will a younger man come to the fore? Starting to look a little bit ragged now for Chan Rotana. He doesn't quite have the same balance when he throws that lead leg front kick, or the leg kick rather, but there with a back leg roundhouse kick the legs, he's always accurate. See a way looking to get closer and closer and land the big bomb whenever he can now. 
Still intense focus from the Cambodian, though. That's Chan Rotana's money shot. That rear leg roundhouse to the leg of C.A. Wei. He can hit that all night long if he wants to. Could be that as they came into this third and final round that it was very even. Maybe Chan having the edge over the 10 minutes, but the tide is turning. Second half of that second round. And what we're seeing so far in the third is really opening the door towards a CIA victory. And it is done now. He got Chan Rotana on his back and then did not let up. And he's walking around that one championship circle with great delight now. That's a big accomplishment for him. Wow, C.A. Wei carrying that power into the third round. Look at this, off of the two, the three comes along and puts Chan Rotana down. Jumps all over the ground and pound. Referee Yuji Shimada was forced to jump in and call a halt to the action, but the hunter goes head hunting. Look at that beautifully timed left hook as Chan Rotana goes down and the ground and pound follows. Absolute peach of a left hook, was this? So difficult to tell if it's a left hook or a, just a, a, an overhand left because he switches his stance so fluidly, but either way, there's big power in that left hand, as indeed there is in the right. Big win for Siete. Ladies and gentlemen, this match was presented to you by Xiaomi. And now, your referee has called a stop to this contest for your winner by way of technical knockout, Xie Wei. Very, very impressive win from Xie Wei. Picked his moment, didn't he? Let the bout evolve to the point where he was in charge and could take charge. Very impressive indeed.